Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the reaction video. Today we're going to be checking out Lethal Company Song, the production line by Danville and the Stupendium. Now, we, you, if you're a fan of the channel, then you know I'm a fan of Dan and Stupendium. I've reacted to a bunch of their videos, got a big playlist with both of my reactions to them. So go check that out below. Uh, the Lethal Company, you know, we like talking about the game here on this channel. Lethal Company is, is I think it's a game made by one person, but I'm a level to play because I'm a PS5 player, uh, and I think it's only a PC game. But I've seen some clips from it, mainly from the Russian Badger. Badger, that's what I usually say. If it's a PC game, I've probably seen the Russian Badger play it. Uh, so, yeah, well, let's just check this straight out. Shout out to Dan Stupendium. Go sub to their channel. Subscribe to my channel while you're heading down in the description. I've got a really stuffy nose because of hay fever, so I'll probably sound a bit funny and I'm struggling to breathe. But uh, if you see me take big gasps, that's what it is. Right, let's go into the video. Three, two, one, let's go. <laughs> also we know when dan and stupendium fucking get together it's going to be a good song so uh production quality i already know it's going to be amazing and it's going to be mixed perfectly i would imagine and it's going to sound perfect let's go So I forgot to say at the beginning of the video as well, but the premise of the game is right is that you have to go and collect uh scrap and stuff like that, artifacts, and then you go back, you sell them, and you've got a quota to meet, and you've got to make your quota. Uh so this is this plays right into the stupendium wheelhouse, I know that for sure. Uh so let's just go into it. All right, Stupendium, one hell of an opening verse. So we're going to go for the kind of the, the internal rhyme scheme. When you see the Stupendium and Dad, they don't look like, uh, no offense to them, obviously, but they don't look like they're a, like a threat on the mic, but it's ridiculous how big of a threat they are. <coughs> Is this, I think this is compound rhyme, compound rhyme scheme. Please let me know if I'm wrong. I'm trying to educate myself on all the different kind of technical terms. And as well, you know, they've got that, that kind of, you know, right as an artist to stretch some words to make it work. marketing transmissions you know it's just a way of saying it to make the rhyme fit uh, and i think it's one of the it's one of those things where you either get away with it or you don't so uh, i'd say they probably got away with it on this one <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this track definitely kind of reminds me of the Stupendium. What, what is the Stupendium song? Uh, the Outer Worlds song. But as well, yeah, this is a this is obviously a, uh, a song about Lethal Company. But you can already tell this is going to be kind of it's got a double meaning song. So Lethal Company and the other one is just you know the general like work environment. Some of us are working to live. What was it? Let's hear it again. Some of us are making what others are just taking. Yeah, that's the general consensus of like the general uh, employment system in most uh, areas. You know, you've got the workers and then you've got the higher ups. Higher ups are, are uh, taking and some of us are making. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> also, if you made it this far in the video, yes, I pause a lot, and yes, uh, you should go down and subscribe. Yeah, like I previously said, this is definitely going to have a double meaning throughout the entire song. <coughs> Oliver Twist, what a reference. I haven't fucking know. I've just remembered about Oliver Twist. He finds it inspirational, so what, like, kind of in a sense, maybe that, uh, you know, it's inspirational that he's so easily replaceable because, you know, it's going to drive him to do, uh, you know, greater at his job, uh, making sure he doesn't get replaced. I can see, yeah, yeah, I can see that. that. Yeah, that's definitely the sense where you kind of, you know, if you're inspired to, you know, focus all your work life on work, you're going to neglect the other areas of your actual life. So, you know, it's a good double in that way. It's a surprisingly deep song for a game like Lethal Company. Uh, you know, if, you know, here in the UK, at least we've got a new Labour government. Uh, so, and they've already seemed to be implementing things to, you know, kind of help that problem. Uh, in terms of, you know, UK politics, I am not, I don't, I didn't vote in this election. Uh, to me, the system itself is just crap. And I kind of sound like a fucking reformer saying that. Trust me, I'm not. I'm not a fan of Nigel Farage. Uh, you know, this isn't a politics video. I won't get into it. My politics is I think it's all shit. There you go. Let's not make this about politics. Three, two, one, let's go. That's definitely referencing uh, the, what was it, the Amazon scandal a while back, where, like, they were so, uh, they had to meet their deadlines so quickly that they literally could not have time to go to the toilet. So I think it was the drivers, they just had to use a pee in a bottle, basically. Which is ridiculous. A big company like Amazon, they have those kind of tight deadlines where you literally can't go to the toilet. It's ridiculous. The right, the, you know, the back to forth between them and Dan and going, it's, it's just what makes their collaborations just so special as well. Because, yeah, you can just you can collab with an artist and just have a verse, verse each. But when you're back to forth, it shows the collaboration. It shows the effort you're putting into it. Because it's not an easy, it's not an easy thing to do going back and forth like that. This goes hard. <laughs> that kind of reminds that like little flow. That kind of reminds me of you know the Stupendiums, uh, ad song ad. Ah, oh, I remember. Ad Infinitum, I think it was. Have you had an accident at work that wasn't your fault? 
is that is that a reference to that advert the the adverts <laughs> some companies just be like that though School careers advisor. I think in, in my school, at least, we had a school's career advisor come in and they literally gave, they sat down and gave us this test. And I think almost all the guys in my class got fucking like a tree surgeon. That's how you know it's stupid. Like, I haven't even fucking heard of a tree surgeon. Everyone somehow got tree surgeon. Uh, yeah, careers in career advisor, advisor in school, absolutely the most useless job. Definitely, uh, you know, one of those jobs where for people that don't want to fucking work it uh, and want the easy way round in life. Is that a reference to, you know, the end of the line song, uh, which is another collaboration between Down on the Stupendium? <laughs> what are these moves? Okay then guys, that's going to be on my reaction to Lethal Company song, uh, the production line by Dan Ball and the Stupendium. What a song, a complete, uh, you know, double meaning throughout the entire song. Yeah, they're referencing the Lethal Company game, which as I said during the track, I haven't actually played, but I've seen uh, people play it, so I know a little bit about it. But what I'm, I'm more amazed is that they've connected it, obviously. I mean, it's a good connection to make, if, if you know how the game works. Uh, you know, it's very easy to make that connection. Uh, they're kind of making the connection to you know the working life that most people will have uh, how shit it is basically so uh, yeah absolutely 10 out of 10 track as usual Dan Ball Stupendium when they collab absolutely perfect go subscribe to them go subscribe to me notifications on I'll see you in the next video have a good day goodbye